one more stop. As you know, this part of the world is called the Four Corners because it's close to the only place in the U.S. where four states meet at one spot. The Four Corners site is about 100 miles from Monument Valley. From the Goosenecks, it's a bit closer. The drive isn't as interesting as some of the others, but when you finally get here, you can be in four places at once. There's a fee to enter, and know your National Park Pass is not accepted, because it's not a U.S. park. The site is managed by the Navajo Nation Park and Recreation Department. This is sovereign Navajo land, despite the U.S. flag. The flags of the four states and several tribes also fly above the site. The location was determined by surveyors with very primitive tools in the late 1800s. And while well, today's GPS systems indicate that the old timers were just about 1,800 feet off, but that's pretty good for back then. Legally, this is still the official boundary of the four states. To help you get a better photo, there's four identical viewpoints slightly above the marker. And I did try to talk someone into sprawling out and putting a limb in each state, but I failed. In 2010, the site was upgraded, and permanent vendor stalls were built around the perimeter. Tribe members sell everything from handmade pottery to fridge magnets. There are a couple of food sellers, too. By the way, some of the vendors are rather camera shy, so ask before you take out your phone. And here's a question that nobody has ever asked, but, well, I did. Maybe it's my MBA school coming back at me. When you buy something, I'm wondering which state do you pay the sales tax in? Well, the vendor I asked said, well, they don't pay taxes in any U.S. state. They only pay the Navajo Nation. Hmm. This is a rather remote spot, and it's off the grid. Some of the vendors have generators, though. And that also affects when the site is open. The hours may vary depending on the time of year. There's no running water either. There are permanent pit toilets, and they're not quite as bad as you might think. But they might be the reason the travel review sites have plenty of negative posts about this place. Some of those posts are likely justified. But if you come with low expectations and respect for this sovereign Navajo land, you'll be glad you came. I walked around, had a snack, and bought a fridge magnet. And I still spent more time getting here than being here. But I've checked it off my bucket list again. So if it's on yours, come on out. And if you're heading up to Mesa Verde or over to Shiprock or Chaco Canyon, it's on the way. And then it's definitely worth a stop. Okay, that wraps up this Beyond Monument Valley adventure. I hope it helps you plan your trip and it encourages you to do a little exploring in the crowd-free backcountry. Or maybe even on a short hike. Go ahead and take a couple of pics that are sure to go viral at incredible viewpoints. Then scramble up to an ancient cliff dwelling, or two, and maybe be in four places at once. The West is big, and there are lots of places to explore beyond the major attractions like Monument Valley. And remember, there are additional places to stay in Mexican Hat, Bluff, and a place I didn't mention before. About 20 miles south of Monument Valley is the larger town of Cayenta, Arizona. It has many hotel and dining options. If you've been following along on a map, a few places with intriguing names may have caught your attention. Places like Hovenweep and Canyon of the Ancients. Well, my YouTube channel, The West is Big, has several videos that talk about these places, and others like Chaco Canyon, Vistai Wilderness, and Shiprock, New Mexico. And if you're going to do the whole Utah Grand Circle, you'll want to watch my 90-minute documentary slash travel guide, as it covers more than Utah's national parks. I'll also take you to the Goblin Valley, Dead Horse Point, Horseshoe Bend, Antelope Canyon, Mesa Verde, and more. Of course, this video and the others are all available on my The West is Big YouTube channel. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and even leave a comment, especially if you know of a place that I missed. Tell me about it, and I may add it in a later version. Well, thanks for watching. My name's Steve Salas, and this is the West is Big YouTube channel.